Okay, here's a quick test. I have a hangout going, and I have uh, the iPad set up here next to me. I'll probably get echo because I'm doing that. But I'm listening to myself in my left ear on the iPad to make sure that the hangout audio is coming through. And I don't hear an echo in that. Now what I'm going to do is mute myself. Well, now let's go ahead and try it. I'm going to unmute the iPad. Testing, testing. Okay. I think that's all right. So I've muted the iPad. Oops. Can you hear me? Hello. There we go. It missed a step there. Okay. Alright, so what I've done is used multicam to send to a custom stream through OBS. And what I've done is I've put a piece of the Hangout window up on Monitor 2. Um, so I have some scenes here, so I'm going to transition to another one. And obviously you're going to get all of this because that is me with a hangout window up. But if we get rid of it, we have the web page I have up here. And I'm going to try a little zoom here, a little zoom and pan. And I want to see how zippy it is. Collections. And since I'm bouncing back and forth here, it's a little behind on the iPad. And there are some, uh, ras you know, sort of pixelization, but it comes back in as the stream speeds up. Coming back to the iPad on the same connection. <laughs> okay, so let me zoom back out. So I have uh, a screen set up here, a scene, so that I can transition back and get my uh, Hangout screen back up on Monitor 2. Alright, so now we'll transition back. Now, let me go back to that Be Right Back screen. Okay, yes, it is just that. Good. Right now, I want to see what happens when I talk on the iPad. As far as what shows up here. Hello, hello. See, I see manually, I manually probably, because I'm going to select me on the iPad. iPad. It'll start happening automatically. It'll start happening get automatically. Get into a call with... Get into a call with... Alright, so I'll mute that. Well, okay, that's pretty much what we wanted to test. We wanted to test a Zoom using uh, zoom it and live zoom mode so, see when I use live zoom then I can still do what I would normally do mouse clicking and bringing up menus and such but with the, the regular zoom it puts you into the mode where you're drawing stuff and you can't control the screen so I finally found this to be the best way to do it for me so now I'm basically have mini cam down to three scenes uh, so I'm gonna have to come up with a 
way to show that to you. Anyway, I'll do that as a separate thing. But this is the end of that test, so I'm going to go ahead and close down the YouTube stream.